Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Just praising him and loving him this morning. He is truly an awesome God and a wonderful God, and we just thank him and praise him this morning. There is no God like our God. Good morning to you, Janice Moultrie. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Marcia Cave, good morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. Auntie Willie May, good morning. Good to see you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Janice Jarrell, good morning. Yes, we thank you. We praise you. Good morning, Mary Stacy, Odette Pinnell, Janice Hudson. I mean, Juanita Hudson. Good to see you ladies this morning. Good morning to you, Sabrina Wilkerson. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord this morning. A beautiful day in the Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hallelujah. Who forgiveth all thy iniquity and healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all the people, for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us. After our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquity. For as the heaven is, is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward the, them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth that our he knoweth our frame, for he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as many as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof should know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandment. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye angels of his, ye, ye his angels that excel in strength, that doeth his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of the Lord. Bless, the, bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. So good to see y'all this morning. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Awesome and wonderful God that we serve, mighty God that we serve. Yes, there is no God. Hallelujah. Like our God. Psalm 108. O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, psalter and heart. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nation. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reaches unto the cloud. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth that thy beloved may be delivered. Say with thy right hand and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and I will meet out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is mine. Is the strength of my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Over Philistia will I triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Would not thou, O God, who has cast us off? And would not thou, O God, go forth with our host? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 117. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endured forever. Praise ye the Lord. 
Heavenly Father, this morning we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We come to lift you up and magnify you this morning because you are an awesome God and a holy God. You are wonderful and a mighty God. And there is no God like you in all this earth. Even though you sit high, you're looking low this morning. Father God, we thank you for new mercies and new compassion this day. It is you, God, hallelujah, that woke us up this morning, that kept us through the night. It is you, God, hallelujah, that give us that has crowned us with glory and honor this day. Father God, we thank you that in you we live, move, and have our being today. Lord God, you are the same God as yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Father God, we thank you that you are the one that set the sun in the sky this morning and the moon and stars last night. Lord God, we thank you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, for who you are and whose we are. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You you are Jehovah Shalom, the God of our peace. You are Jehovah Nisi, our banner. You are Jehovah Rophi, our healer. You are Jehovah, hallelujah, Toshikinu, the God of our righteousness. <laughs> And we thank you, Jehovah Shaboah, the Lord of heavens, host of armies of angels. You are Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd, our protector, our caregiver this morning. You are, hallelujah, just an awesome and a wonderful God this morning. You are Adonai, you are sovereign God, you are majestic God, you are Elohim, you are the creator of all things. Without you, nothing exists. And Father, we thank you and praise you this morning. Yes, we praise you this morning, El Shaddai, the many breasted one, the all-sufficient one, the source of all of our blessings, God of the mountains this morning. Father God, we just thank you and praise you, Jehovah Shammah, hallelujah, our companion. You're always there. We just love you and thank you this morning, God. We come to glorify you and magnify you. Father, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die for us, to cast our transgressions as far as the east is from the west. Father, when you see us, you see us through that blood. Father, when you see us, you forgiven all of our sins and hallelujah you heal all our diseases and God we just thank you and praise you this morning we thank you for your presence that's in us and upon us today your Holy Spirit that is our God our strong tower your Holy Spirit that's a very present help in time of trouble Lord God we thank you and praise you this morning for being a counselor and a comforter and advocate hallow strengthener and a helper and intercessor this morning Father God we just thank you and praise you if we had 10,000 tongues each, it wouldn't be enough to praise you and tell of all your glory. But Father, we're going to praise you right now. We're going to praise you all the day long. Everything we do is to please you. In Jesus' name, let's give our God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning. Encourage yourself in the Lord today. No matter what it looks like, no matter what you're going through, encourage yourself in the Lord today. Don't feel down. Don't feel like you knocked out. Don't feel like you knocked back. Just encourage yourself in the Lord today. Hallelujah. You let the Lord be true. Every man and situation be a lie. Hallelujah. Remember, turn it over to the Lord. He'll work it out. Give it to Jesus. He'll work it out. Know that the Lord, he is God and he changes not. He's the same God to you that he were to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same God that he was when Jesus was on this earth, the same God when David, hallelujah, was king. He's the same God when Paul was shipwrecked and in jail. He's the same God to, to you that he were to them in their moments of, of affliction, in their trial and tribulation. The same God, hallelujah, that allowed his son to go on the cross is the same God that's allowing you to go through trials and tribulation. But just like he raised Jesus from the dead, he going to raise you up. So just give him glory. Thank him because this light affliction is only for a moment. God loves you. God is with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. And I thank you for that this morning, Father. Yes, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. And how do I know that God is with you? Because you haven't quit. You haven't stopped believing. You still come into prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God knows your heart. Hallelujah. He knows what's in you. But you got to trust him with everything. You got to give it all to Jesus. Hallelujah. Surrender all to Jesus today. Say this after me. I'm going to create this surrender 
confession this morning. If you want to surrender all to Jesus, just say this after me. Say, Father, today, I surrender all to you today. I give my whole life, my thoughts, my mouth, my will, my body, I give it all to you. I surrender all. You can have it all. All of me, I give to you today. Use me, Lord, to do your will in your good pleasure. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank him this morning. Hallelujah. If you surrender your will to God, trust me, he's going to make you better. Hallelujah. When you let go, when you get out of you and you let God have his way in your life, you're going to be better. You'll do better. You'll think better. Why? Because you're surrendering all to God. And you're telling God, God, I want to be all in. No half-stepping, no wavering. I want to be all in for you, Jesus. I want to be all in for you, God. I want to be that ambassador you called me to be. I want to be that mother, that father, that husband, that wife. I want to be that pastor. I want to be that, 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 that congregate. I want to be that church leader that you called me to be. I want to be the best worker on my job because you called me to be it. Father God, I want to be the one that set the example of when you go through a storm, how to still praise you. Lord, I want to be who you called me to be. Hallelujah. I surrender all to you this morning. Letting go and letting you, God, have your way. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Let me say a prayer over you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you on the behalf of my brothers and sisters who are standing with me today. First of all, Father, we acknowledge you as the head of our lives, as the center of our lives. You're in control of everything. Father God, if there's anything in us, any bitterness, any clamor, any unforgiveness, any hurt, any pain, we ask you to give us the strength, God, to make changes. We ask you, God, to help us through it. We ask you to help us to be able to forgive our brothers and sisters who have disappointed us, who have hurt us. God, this morning we come before you asking for forgiveness if we hurt anybody, disappointed anybody, did anything that goes against your word of God that may have offended a brother or sister, even an enemy God that we don't know about. Father God, just as we forgive those that trespass against us, we thank you for forgiving us. And Father God, I thank you this morning that you have poured out strength to each and every person that's under the sound of my voice. Father God, you poured out strength and joy, peace and love, faithfulness and patience. Hallelujah. Lord God, I thank you this morning for pouring out self-control in us, Lord God. Father, we thank you, O Heavenly Father, that you poured out blessings that we have room enough not to receive. And the blessing of the Lord, you make it rich and add no sorrow with it. Lord God, I pray for complete healing in mind, thoughts, relationships in their lives today. Lord God, no good thing or you withholding from my brothers and sisters today. And Father God, I thank you that we're acting like you, walking like you, talking like you, doing your will and your good pleasure in every area of our lives. Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning that you're strengthening us in the areas where we're weak because your strength is made strong, made perfect when we are weak. And Father God, I thank you this morning that we cast all of our cares up on you because you care for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning. Hallelujah. You know, I'm like um, a song Dunn McClurk and saying, we come this far by faith. Listen, don't, don't stop having faith. Don't, don't stop believing God. Don't stop trusting in God. Don't you stop. Don't give up. Yeah, it may seem like sometimes that water gets a little rough. The situation gets a little hard. But remember, your God is bigger. The God you serve is bigger than that. Hallelujah. He's bigger than that. So serve and know that God is with you. He won't, he won't leave you by yourself. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. You know what? Let's pray for our nation this morning. Let's pray for peace in this nation. It's a lot going on and we just got to keep praying, y'all. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you on behalf of these United States of America. 
praying that your 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 kingdom come, your will be done, as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Lord God, we pray for those in authority, the leaders, the politicians this morning, who disagree and hallelujah seem to only be looking for party favoritism instead of the will and the hearts and the minds of the people. Father, your word says you search for a man to stand in the gap, to make a hedge about the people, but you found none. Well, Father, we're standing in the gap today. Father, you also said that if my people who are called by my name will turn from their wicked ways, that you will hear from heaven and you will heal the land. Father, we turn to you because you are our only help. You're the source of everything. And we're asking you to heal this land. Heal this land of gun violence. Heal this land of racism. Heal this land of judgery and bigotry, Father. We're asking you to heal these United States of America because we're not united, Father. We're more divided states of America. Lord God, we ask you to touch the people in the north, south, east, and west. Open their eyes so that they can see truly what is happening, the division that's in this land. And Father God, we just want to thank you and praise you that we will continue to walk forth and set the example for this land to follow. We know that this land is not consumed because your children are still crying out unto you. And we continue to cry out for this country, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank God this morning. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. If there's anything you need me to pray for this morning, put it in the chat. Let me go ahead on and call it out. Let me pray for it this morning. Anything or anyone you need me to pray for, let us do that this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just want to thank him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Know that God loves you today. Hallelujah. I do want to remind y'all of one thing. Maybe a couple. You are still complete. Even in your trials, your tribulation, you still complete. You still got everything you need inside of you. And I don't want you to forget that. I don't want you to forget that God is with you. I don't want you to forget who you are. You are a child of God. Don't you forget that God is walking with you. Don't you forget God created you with a purpose and a plan in mind. Don't you forget that. Don't you forget that he will never leave you nor forsake you, that you are never alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Odette Pinnell, praying for your children. Wanda Williams, pray for L.J. Gibson. I think that's L.J. Gibson. I right, put my computer a little closer this morning. Pat Leon. All right, praying for your family and friends and your enemies. All righty, praise the Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. Tangi, Tangi Poo, Tangi Poo got ten, Tangela Poo more traveling grace and stay safe protection over seen and unseen danger and our families got you this morning. Wonder Williams, all right, praising God for your complete healing from your surgery. Hallelujah. Praying for healing, strength, and your children. See you, Marcia Cave. Janice Moultrie, family strength, children, grandchildren, your husband, all right. Praying for Grandma Ola this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for your complete healing as well, T. Willie May. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you this morning. Alina Williams, my cousin Tyrone, came off life support. Praying for him this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pearl man, family in favor. I see you this morning. Hallelujah. Pray for my children, Miles and Sean. Hallelujah. Pray for Sean to have successful training as well as Miles to complete his training. Hallelujah, our goddaughter and her children, Deandra, Geraldine, praying for your family this morning. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody else got anything they want me to pray for this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Janice, Gerald, my kids and grandkids, gotcha. Material Graham, family and strength. Carolyn McCray Scott, family, complete healing from surgery, strength. 
finance and peace. Already got that this morning. Hallelujah. Come in agreement for everyone prayer to be answered in Jesus' mighty name. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, see you there, cousin Tanny. Hallelujah. Praise you. Praise you this morning, Heavenly Father. Yes. Praise your awesome and holy name. Wonderful is your name. Juanita Hudson Health, Strength and Family. Conrad Jones, all right. Praise the Lord. Well, come on, y'all. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning on the behalf of each and every prayer request. Your word says, Jesus said, how can two walk together except they be agreed? He said, well, two or three are gathered in my name. I am in the midst of them. Jesus also said, anything you ask of the Father, ask it in the name of Jesus, and it will be done. Hallelujah. Well, Father, we come praying. I come praying on the behalf of each and every one of these people, your children, your son, your daughter, who is with me this morning, praying for their prayer requests, praying for their families, praying, Father, for healing, praying for favor, praying for strength, praying for guidance and direction, for protection, praying this morning for the children and grandchildren, praying this morning, God, that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding is with them and will cover them. Praying, oh, Heavenly Father, that you've already met every need, that they operate in the overflow, that, hallelujah, as we obey you, Father, and follow your law and meditate on your word, God, that you give us the desires of our heart. I pray right now for answered prayers. I pray right now for miracles, <clears throat> signs, and wonders to be operating in their lives. I pray this morning, oh, Heavenly Father, that everything they need, God, you've already given it, you've already provided. Everything they ask, you've already answered. Lord God, I thank you right now that though the enemy may be trying to arise and attack them, that he is already defeated. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you by the blood of Jesus, by his stripes, God, healing is taking place. By his words, God, healing is taking place. God, I thank you for deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you right now that your sons and your daughters have peace in their mind, in their spirit, their soul, their emotions, their will, their intellect. Father God, I pray for successful businesses. Father God, I pray right now that we are examples of your word, God. We are walking, living epistles, read by many, God, seen by many, and many are turning to you, God. Father God, I thank you right now for manifold blessings from the north, south, east, and west in their lives, favor from the north, south, east, and west. Lord God, I declare this day no good thing or you withholding from your sons and your daughters, for you are our shepherd and we shall not want. Father, I thank you this morning. Each and every prayer has already been answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank you. We just praise you this morning. We just love you this morning. Hallelujah. Listen, I believe, therefore I speak. Hallelujah. I believe, therefore I speak. Let me just read the scripture. I read it to you last week, but I just want to read it again. Hallelujah. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures to you. I read it last week, but like I said, I just want to read it again. Just, just so that we don't forget it. Look at what it says. And, and uh, this is Paul speaking in 2 Corinthians 4 and 13. He said, we have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he was raised of the Lord Jesus to raise us up also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Now, Paul says, it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. See, you got to speak what you're believing. If you're speaking and saying I'm sick, you believe you're sick. But if you believe and say you're healed, no matter the sickness or disease, can God heal cancer? Yes, he can. Can God heal, heal COVID? Say, yes, he can. We've seen that. We've seen people deliver from cancer. We've seen people deliver from AIDS. There's nothing too hard in your life that God can't heal you from. Can God heal you from them past hurts, from the people who disappointed, who lied, who stole from you, who walked out on you? Can God heal you from that? Yes, he can. But speak your healing into existence. Hallelujah. Believe and speak. Say, I believe. Therefore, I have spoken. 
You got to believe it, child of God. And now I'm going to another familiar scripture. I said familiar because I read it before. But look at what Jesus said after he told them to have faith in God. I'm going to Mark 11. He said, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Listen, don't be afraid to ask God for it. Jesus said, you speak it, or what, when you believe what you say, you are having it. If you want to be rich, if you want to be wealthy, if you want to come out of debt, you want to be out of poverty, you want to have, you want wealth and riches, you believe it, you speak it, and you act upon it. Hallelujah. But then he goes on to say in verse 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Let me tell you, Jesus told him two things in this scripture. Number one, he said, he's telling them, have faith. When you speak, have faith. Have faith so that what you speak shall come to pass. When you pray, pray in faith that what you're praying for will come to pass. You got to believe. You got to believe in the word. Your God will establish you. Believe in the word. But the prophet, I'm telling you, you'll prosper. But you got to believe it. Put it in your heart. Walk around. Talk to, encourage yourself. Talk to yourself. You can't be afraid to do that. I know they told us growing up that if you talk to yourself, you're crazy. But no, you're not. You speaking the word, you are encouraging yourself. All of us don't have something that that we don't told ourselves, you can do this. You can do this. When other people told you you couldn't, you couldn't have something, you couldn't do something. You're not smart enough. You're not good enough. You can't do that. You proved them wrong. So prove the enemy wrong right now by speaking the word and believing the word that you speak. That God will give you what he said he's going to give you. That God can help you or make you a better Christian as you walk with him. That God can give you knowledge and discernment and wisdom about the word as you walk with him. You got to believe. You got to believe. I don't care what, I don't care what your past is. Don't you stop believing. Don't you give up on God. Don't you let everybody out there who don't want to do nothing with their life, do not allow them to stop you from believing and trusting in God, believing that, that God, you know, telling you, man, God ain't going to do that for you. You crazy. You crazy because you're listening to them. Look at what it says in Psalms 35, 27. And look at what, this is uh, David. Look at what David wrote. He said, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. I am rejoicing because God is answering your prayers, that God is delivering you, that you're walking with God, that you're even here this morning. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Say this after me. Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in my prosperity as his servant. Let's say it again. Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in my prosperity in my blessings in Jesus' name. Give him some praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's look at Psalms 37, verses 4 and 5. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, let's start at verse 3. Psalm 37, verses 3 through 5. You know, hey, I want you to encourage yourself today. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Look at what it says. It says, trust in the Lord and do good. So should thou dwell in the land, and truly thou shalt be fed. You trust in the Lord. He's going to take care of you. That's what he's saying. Trust in the Lord. You do what's right. God going to take care of you. 
He gonna take care of your need. He gonna bless you, but you gotta trust in the Lord. He said, delight thyself also in the Lord. Find joy. Find happiness and pleasure in the Lord. And he shall and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. He'll give it to you. He said, verse 5, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. What's on your vision board? Did you read it yesterday? What you plan to do today, different than what you did yesterday? Look at that vision board. That's the desire of your heart. Act upon it. Read it. Believe it. Speak it into existence. Like I said, uh, I told the church, my vision, well, I want to make $10,000 in one month with our businesses. Then I want to make $100,000, hallelujah, in one month. I want to make $1 million in one year. I want to make $10 million in a year. All those things are on my vision board. I want to be a blessing to somebody else to pay off their debts. It's on my vision board. I want people to see the glory of the Lord. I'm speaking it. I'm running with it. I'm believing it. Changing course to do what I need to do to get to where we want to be. And I'm believing it, that God will do it. If he did it for others, he'll do it for me. Hallelujah. Well, hey, I want to thank y'all for joining me this morning. But I want you to act out on this word. I want you to believe. Don't think that just because I'm the pastor that God going to bless me more than he bless you. We got the same opportunities. My job is to cover you and feed you, pray for you, stand in the gap for you, educate you, teach you, encourage you, inspire you, uplift you. That's my job. To feed his people. To feed his sheep. So I'm feeding you, but you got to receive it. You got to act up on it. And watch your tongue. Watch your mouth. Watch what you're saying. I wish everybody would do this right here. I wish everybody would just get a little recorder and just hit record. And just whatever you speaking, just let it record and then go back and play it back so you can see how you're talking. To see if what you're saying is aligning up with your vision, if it's aligning itself with the word. So that if you find yourself speaking some doubt, especially when we're in conversation with other people, we can correct that. But watch the words that are coming out of your mouth. Do not negate the promises of God in your life by speaking something that should not be. So with that being said, I want to thank y'all for joining me this morning. Thank you for allowing me to come into your homes, your on your job, wherever you are, and praying with you this morning. I want you to understand and spread the word that God loves you. Tell somebody today that God loves them. And be that example for others to follow. Go after your dreams. Dream big, think big, because our God is bigger. There's nothing in this world that's too hard for God. Healing is not too hard for God. Deliverance is not too hard for God. Increasing you in every area of your life is not too hard for God. Just trust in God. Just trust in his word. Trust in what you're hearing. And let that be the thing that delivers you. Know that God is still God in your life. The same God is yesterday, today, and forevermore. So know this, that I love you. I'm glad that God is blessing you. Don't forget July 2nd is our family fun day. We're going to have a good time, y'all. I'm telling you. If you don't come out for nothing else, just come out for ice to pass and eat some great food. I'm just telling you right now. But we're going to have a good time in the Lord that day. So I'm looking forward to seeing as many of you as possible that can make it that day. Bring your family with you. Hallelujah. Bring your family with you. Bring the kids. Let them run around. We're just going to have a great time in the Lord that day. So with that being said, also, don't forget... Join us tonight, 7 o'clock, for Bible study. Bring somebody with you as well. Put it on the big TV and tell your family, come on, y'all, let's sit down. Let's watch Bible study. Hallelujah. So on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of 
Uplift Church 429. Hallelujah. And my beautiful wife, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson. And of course, the most beautifulest, anointed, bestest, blessedest, Holy Ghost filled, amazing, anointed, fire baptized, devil stumping, committed, skillful lawyer, able, prompt to do, on fire, body of believers on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family. And of course, you, our Uplift Church Facebook Live family. Hey, God bless you. I love you. Praying for you. And I'm in your corner. Believe and receive in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day. Peace. See y'all tonight, family. Hallelujah.